Hello Techies. In our previous session, we have learned how to change the values from the dropdown by using set dropdown list value on web page action. Once you are going to set the dropdown list values or you are going to set the value of the dropdown, the data will be loaded accordingly based on your category selected. Now, in this session, we will learn how to store this data or write the data to the Excel worksheet by using Excel automation. All right, let me go back to the Power Automate desktop. Now, if you observe, by using extract data from web page, we are going to extract the HTML table records and we are going to store the data inside the data from web page. Now, I'm going to rename this data from web page as stock market stock market data and then I'm going to click on enter. Now if you see whenever I'm going to change the flow variables name automatically it, it is getting reflected in the particular action. Now I need to write this data to the Excel. How can I go ahead and do that? I'm going to do that by using write to Excel worksheet action. Before using write to Excel worksheet action I need to use the instance for the Excel. How can I go ahead and use it? By using launch Excel action, I'm going to create an Excel instance. This launch Excel action will launch as a new Excel instance or open an Excel instance to work with Excel actions. All right, let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace at the top of the desktop flow. Now, if you see the parameters for the launch Excel, we are having two options in the launch Excel. One is with blank document, another one and open the following document. Now, every time I need to create a new document or the Excel file to store the data for each and every category which are available in the category dropdown in NSC project. So I'm going to take it as with a blank document. And after that, if you see the another parameter that is make instance visible, I don't want to show the instance to know the window is visible or not. I'm going to keep the Excel as hide mode. And then whatever the Excel instance, we are going to get it by using launch Excel. I'm going to store inside the variable that is named as Excel instance. All right, let me click on save. Now, if you observe each and every time it is going through the loop of current category item that is coming from the dropdown. And then we are going to extract the data from the web page, which is available in the HTML table inside the web page. And we are going to store inside this variable that is stock market data. Now, I want to write the data into the Excel. How can I go ahead and write the data into the Excel? That is by using write to Excel worksheet action. Let me drag and drop this write to Excel worksheet action onto the workspace after extracting the data from the web page action. Now, what is this write to Excel worksheet action will do? This will write a particular value into the cell or range of cells of an Excel instance. Now, if you see the parameters, the first parameter is the Excel instance for which Excel that you need to work it up. By default, it is given as Excel instance, which we have created or which we got it from the launch Excel action. All right, now as a second parameter, we are having value to write. What is the data we need to write it into this Excel worksheet? That we got the output from the web page that is stock market data. I'm going to use the same value to write over here. That is the variable that I'm going to choose it. Now, if you see, I'm having stock market data, which is the type of data table. I'm going to select that stock market data. And the third one, we are having mode. So we are having different write modes over here in a such a way we are having on specified cell or on current activity cell. If you are going to mention on specified cell so that it will ask column and rows, but whenever you are going to select on currently active cell, in that case, whatever the cell is active in the particular Excel, it will write the data in the particular cell in the Excel. So that I'm going to choose write mode as on currently active cell and then I'm going to click on save. Now, after writing the data into the Excel worksheet by using write to Excel worksheet, I need to save the Excel as externally. So how can I go ahead and do that? 
there is an action called save excel which is part of excel automation let me drag and drop this save excel onto the workspace inside the for each now you may ask why we can't we do that outside of the for each but if you are going to use inside that for each and every current item that is current category item we are having it it will save for each and every category it will save the data so that i'm going to use this save excel action inside the for each loop the save excel action saves a previously launched an excel instance so for each and every time of the for each loop once it has been completed for each and every iteration it will save the excel so that if you see the parameters first parameter is the excel instance which we got it at the time of launch excel instance and then if you see the save mode i'm having different modes over here such as save document and save document as save document means the default one it will be stored whereas save document as whatever the name that you are going to give it or the path you are going to give it it will write the data in the particular location so that right now what i'm going to do i'm going to use save document as and then over here once you have selected the mode of save mode then it is coming as document format on document path now i'm going to select default one for the excel so what is the default extension for the excel format that is excel sx or xls okay now i need to give the document path over here what is the document path that i can give it i need to give the path over here in such a way that is c colon documents slash nsc the folder name where i need to save the excel files and also i need to save the excel with the category name so that i'm going to select the name over here from the file variables each and every time we are going to get it as current category item and i'm going to give the extension as dot excel sx and before that i will give the path also over here let me save it and then i'm going to create a path by using set variable action let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace after launch or before launch excel if you see the parameters for the set variable i'm going to give the variable name as doc path and then i'm going to give the value over here as the path that is c colon users and my name and after the, the documents slash nsa the folder i'm going to click on save and then the same path i'm going to give it in the save excel in the documentation path let's double click on that and then in the document path i'm going to give the variable as doc path and then i'm going to concatenate with the current category item dot xlsx file in that case the document path will be doc path slash current item category dot xlsx file let's click on save let me explain the desktop flow once again now what are the data you are going to retrieve from the particular web page that is in the html tables i'm going to store inside the excel by using excel automation action such as launch excel and after that i'm going to use write to excel worksheet and then i'm going to save the excel in the particular path by using save excel with the mode save mode as save document as and then i'm going to give the path over here by using set variable that is doc path and i'm going to give the path as c users and after the system name slash document slash nsc slash i'm going to give it now i'm going to concatenate the path inside the save excel with the current category item with the extension of dot xlsx as a final step of this particular session i need to use close excel because of we have already launched our excel instance but as a best practice i need to close the excel instance also let me drag and drop this close excel action onto the workspace before close web browser what this close excel action will do it will close the excel instance which we have opened at the time of launch excel so that i'm going to give the parameter of the excel instance that is excel instance and then before closing the excel i'm going to save the document once again that is save document and then i'm going to click on save 